Hi! This screencast is to help understand how to build and use UTM codes to help identify where your traffic is coming from and how to show that in Google Analytics. This is a great way to identify different marketing channels for specific promotional campaigns and to be able to identify exactly which links people are clicking on and to drive the most traffic, including areas where you have multiple links on the same page or screen, and then also being able to see that information in Google Analytics. So let's dive right in. There's two different steps that we're going to go through. The first one is showing you how to set up these URLs and explaining how they communicate to Google Analytics. And then the second is showing you how to see those campaigns in Google Analytics. So first, we're going to build our URL. So how the URL tool or UTM codes communicate with Google Analytics is by building this uh, just custom language onto the end of the URL where you want your traffic to go. All of those little custom codes that we put in communicate and speak the same language as Google Analytics. And I'll show you how Google Analytics interprets those. So there's a bunch of different tools out there for you to build your URL. My favorite is a tool made by Raven Tools. It's publicly available. You just go to gaconfig.com and once you go there, you click on Build URL or you can just go straight to this Google Analytics URL Builder URL and bookmark it. And we'll go ahead back so I can show you how to get there. So if you go to gaconfig.com You'll get to this screen and you click on Build URL. And here you are at the URL Builder. So then, the next thing we need to do is put in all of the appropriate fields to build our custom URL. And then the tool does the rest of the work for us. So I'm launching a new website announcement, so I want traffic to just go to the home page of my website. So here's my website. I'm going to take it to the home page. And then the URL that I want traffic to go to is right here in the address bar. So I'll copy that URL and then I'm going to go back to my tool, paste it in. The next part down is identifying the different elements that make up your campaign. This is where you get to identify exactly what your campaign is. So. First, we're going to skip down to campaign name. I know that's confusing because it's not the first one. The campaign name is the one you want to be consistent throughout your entire campaign. So every URL you build for this specific campaign should have the same campaign name. So I'm launching a new website announcement for this example. So we're just going to type in website launch announcement. And then that needs to be my entire campaign name throughout. And actually, that's probably a little bit long, so I'll just do website launch. And we'll go with that with an underscore in the middle. So there's a couple of other fields that are required, and that's the campaign medium and the campaign source. So we're going to go back up. So let's say this URL that I'm building is to go on to a Facebook post. So my campaign, we'll go back up to the top, my campaign source is going to be Facebook. And then the campaign medium gives you an opportunity to further identify which Facebook link we're actually talking about. So let's say um, you post, you have a range to post four different Facebook posts. You need to get more specific than just saying, hey, the source is going to be Facebook. So in the medium, you could outline and say, um, perhaps, image post. Uh, you could also put in something like profile link, if you were changing the link to your profile to match your new website domain. In my case, I'm just going to do a couple of posts, so I'm going to put in here something like uh, text link. 
and that's all I need to know to tell me it's a text link in the content of the Facebook post. Now, if you need to get more specific than that, there are two other fields that you can fill out as well. So the only fields that are required to communicate with Google Analytics correctly, we already did, and that is source, medium, and campaign name. If that's not enough, then you can go down further and you can define further by campaign term or campaign content. And you really have a lot of freedom here to just use whatever variables you need to add in. So maybe I just want to start naming my ads to be more specific. I could even call them uh, funny ad one. So let's say my first ad is going to be humorous. So I'll leave funny ad one in there. So then you probably noticed as we were filling out the necessary fields right here, a URL was being built. So the URL is ready to go. So your next step is to copy it and then you're going to paste it into whatever ad or post you want the links to be tracked on. So let's say I was going to schedule this Facebook post in Hootsuite to go out at an optimal time. So I'm going to go over to my Hootsuite tool and I'll select my Facebook page and then I'll paste in my link. Now you can see the link still takes someone to the same exact location. We can even go to it so that you can see. There's no special activation or anything tricky. As soon as you build the URL, it's ready to go and Google Analytics knows what to do with it. So let's go to our new URL. So I'm going to paste the new URL into the address bar, hit enter, go to this new place, takes me straight to the home page. Nothing different. And what happened was up here, this URL was communicating with Google Analytics. And first, we went to the home page, and then everything after the question mark here is telling Google Analytics about this campaign. First, it says, hey, this traffic came from Facebook. And then it says, this is the text link. And finally, it says, the name of this campaign is website launch. And this specific link is from the funny ad one. Now we can go to Google Analytics and I'll show you where those appear so that you can see your ads actually working. So we're going to go to Google Analytics now. And when you're looking at your website, you're going to make sure you're on the reporting screen. And then in the left hand sidebar, you want to go to acquisition because we're talking about a way traffic is getting to your website. And in the sub navigation from acquisition, go to campaigns. Any campaigns you've built with these custom URLs are going to appear in this section of analytics. And if you scroll down, you can see that I've built quite a few. Uh, one popular one that I have is ongoing communication. So I have, I consider it an ongoing campaign, so it's a little different, but the campaign name here is communications. When I dig further into communications, I can see the different variables I put in. So I had, for example, an email signature line, custom hyperlink to see how many people clicked on my email signature line to go to my website. So the source was email and the medium I made signature line. And let's take a look at one more that had multiple variables. The next one is a social campaign. So this is another one that was ongoing, so it's a little different, but the name of the campaign was social. And then when I dig in and scroll down, you can see that I named three different sources, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, where I put in custom bio links to my profiles with a link to my website. And then you can see that each one was a link in the bio and I could see how many people were clicking over to my website. Now I would have expected, for example, Facebook to be way more popular, but it looks like I'm getting a lot more traffic to my website from my profile through Twitter. If I had identified any further variables such as content, you would have to dig in further to see those here. 
So, just a review. You can use this for a campaign. It's best used for one campaign at a time. Make sure when you build your URL that your campaign name is consistent for all of the URLs that you build. Once you build this once, you can just keep it up and build all of your different URLs together. So if I wanted to do a campaign with multiple channels for the same website launch campaign, I could make my campaign source newsletter if I was going to build one for, for example, for my email to send out. I could make this a uh, banner link. And then the campaign name would stay consistent. And maybe on this one I just don't need to differentiate content. Then I would take this URL. I would go over to my email campaign template where I have a link right here. Now of course you have to pretend that it's actually a banner. You just stick the link in and you're done. So I hope this helped you figure out how to use Google Analytics through UTM codes to track sources and the number of visits that you're getting for any given campaign. Thanks.